show. What's shaking? It's prediction day. It's Friday. I'm Jeff. That's on war. Jason, Alex. We're from the Texas, uh, the Orange Bloods Texas football channel. Uh, like the video. If you see anything that makes you chuckle, smile, whatever, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, get notifications, leave your predictions for the Texas Kansas game in the comments section. I don't know. Maybe we'll give a prize to somebody who can nail the score perfectly. Fellas, this on paper, Texas is a 30 point favorite. So they're going to win, right? So it's a matter of the margins, I think. Anwar, I'll start with you. Is it as simple as it's, it's Kansas and there's nothing that they could do that caused them to lose this game? I want, I, I want to say that, yes. Um, you know, I think, and Jason can speak to us. Jason, before I get into my prediction, as we record this on Thursday morning, the Kansas QB is still injured, right? The starting QB is still banged up a little bit? Uh, I was told early in the week that he might play this week. So they, But they've got two. None of them are really good on where it doesn't really matter. So. Yeah. I mean, I just I just go back to it's, it's, it's Kansas. And even though there's been a lot of distractions – uh, that have been here this 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 past week or so, past seven days. At the end of the day, I'm still I'm still going to say it's Texas. It's at home. Um, I just don't know. I don't I don't expect that kind of mental lapse. Now, look, if somehow by some miracle that Kansas is able to keep this thing close heading into halftime, then all of a sudden, yeah, you you maybe this is becomes a really interesting game. But I I don't see that. I'll be I'll be shocked at that. So. Um, I'm just I'm just going to predict 48-24 Texas. Uh, that's that's going to be my my score of catch. Okay, I forgot. I should go. You guys, remind me to go to Alex first every uh, week because he's got like. And I don't know that this is the week we desperately need the breakdown mm-hmm. on the betting patterns for Texas and Kansas. But I always find it educational. All right, so this game, and I'm interested to see here on my app. It's a this. So basically, we're at the point where. I was surprised to see it's a 6:30 game, and I'm even more surprised to see <laughs> that Texas has been relegated to ESPNU as the as the as the broadcaster on this one. Um, there's the get the total is Texas. Mi- or, I'm sorry, the spread is Texas minus 30 and a half. 45 percent of the tickets are on Kansas, and seven and 71 percent of the money. So all the bigger betters are coming in on the fact that Kansas is going to cover this. The Texas will not win by 30 and a half points. I, the over-under is set at 62, 75% of the tickets, so three-quarters of the betters and 77% of the money is on the over. So people think that basically if, we, if there are sharp betting groups or there are big, big money betters in this game, the kind of game script that they're imagining is a game script where this total goes over but it goes over because kansas scores more points than would be expected by the two implied team totals so with that being the case and that i haven't watched a down of kansas football this year and just know that it's kansas who is kansas's coach currently not david Beatty. i don't even know like uh, I, I don't even know who their coach Why are you making is? us look bad right now lance leopold or something like that i wrote his oh, name man. in my uh i totally did not know that Okay, um, I might be mis- mispronouncing it, but I did write his name in my matchup. What, what I'm, what I'm, so what I'm, what I'm saying is, I'm just gonna go with the betting totals here, and I'm gonna say, and just go with my knowledge of Texas football and the fact that they've underwhelmed at every point. That I how 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 they can be a thirty and a half point favorite after after what we've seen over the course of the last couple of weeks, the last five weeks, I'm not really even sure. So I'll say Texas wins. They score forty two points. Kansas scores uh, 27 points, 42-27. For the record, I remember that Lance Leopold, Leopold, however you say it. I don't know. I remember that he was hired because he went from Buffalo, and there was, a, there was about five minutes in the summertime when Texas fans wanted Texas to raid Buffalo's offensive line <laughs> in the portal. I think one of the – <laughs> Baylor offensive lineman maybe came from Buffalo or hell, maybe it was a camp. Yeah, no, it did. Yeah, they, it did. But Baylor right. signed one of the Buffalo offensive line transfers, but yeah. a bunch of the Buffalo guys transferred to Kansas with him. And they actually had a couple of guys that were like borderline NFL prospects along the offensive line that Texas showed no interest in. But yeah, what was unique about him was that they hired him in May, I think. 
Yeah, so, it was after spring football. I yeah, think. it wasn't like a traditional coaching change thing. Easy, easy to forget. Jason, you got a prediction? So we can get um, one more out of here. Yeah, uh, real quickly. Um, I'm just surprised a 30 point spread. This is a bad, bad Kansas team. They're terrible on defense. They can't throw the ball. Um, but they do run the ball pretty effectively. That's been an Achilles heel for Texas. Longhorns should win this game easily. You know, we don't know how they're going to react to all this turmoil that we've seen in the last week, but this should be a game they win easily. And if they don't, that is a bad, bad, bad sign for Texas football moving forward. I like Texas. I think Kansas will try to shorten the game a little bit, but I still like Texas to score quite a few points behind who I think will be Casey Thompson. Don Moore will probably have that answer for us later today. But um, I think it, I'll go Texas 38. I think Kansas moves the ball a little bit here and there. So I'll go 38-17. Uh, Texas win. Yeah, Jim. Can I? Can I? I've I've never done this before, but I I'd like to change mine. Kansas. Go for I don't it. Think Kansas is, is going to score twenty seven points. Well, I'm yeah, just, you almost sounded like a guess when you made it. I'm going to I'm, 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 I'm going to now that I've thought about it more. I, I I'm going to say forty two seventeen. All right, I'm the only one that has to do a prediction left, and I don't I don't see this Texas offense. Texas can score forty. We. I, I said in an interview yesterday that Texas won't break 30 this week unless they get a score off of special teams and defense. Potentially, you've got a hurt quarterback starting or a jittery one. Um, we don't know if B. John Robinson is going to start this weekend, but he's limited. He's day-to-day at this point. You've got a wide receiver unit. Texas, from the moment Jordan Whittington got hurt, all of Texas's combined passing efficiency as a group is 129 it's that's horrible and now they don't have joshua moore you've got an offensive line that you can't trust like i'm selling my offensive stock because if if they find a way to bottle up xavier worthy like teams have been able to a couple of times in the most recent games i don't know who makes plays for this team in the passing game if ku shows up ready for a fist fight 27-17. That will probably be my official prediction. If Texas, if Kansas shows up and they just, they they just died, they just mailed it in because they did a week ago against Kansas state in a rivalry game, then probably somewhere along the line, add 10 points and make it 38, 17. But I'm really doubting where Texas is. If Texas was playing Kansas State this week instead of Kansas, I'd be picking Kansas State to beat Texas. That They're getting Kansas this week, 27-17. In a, Alex, I'm looking at your face when I said the score. And, well, I mean, it, Texas might as well lose. If that, I mean, as far as Orange Bloods goes, as far as the reactions over there, a 10-point win over Kansas is not going to go over not going to go over well. No, but we've seen Kansas be competitive against Texas, better better Texas teams than sure. this one and and worse Texas teams, I suppose as well. Uh but anyway, leave us your comments, your scores in the comments section for myself, Jason Onwar, Alex, thanks for checking out our predictions video for Kansas. Those of you that watch the entire thing, you guys are dedicated Texas football fans. Let me tell you right now, I wouldn't watch it (laughs) for all of us. We'll talk to you soon. Later.